a player get a call up? When's the first time you knew you were called up, and how did it feel? I've been playing quite. I've been playing very well for Cuba. Um, I was scoring goals on a regular basis, um, and at the time, though, there was there was a lot of strikers around who were scoring goals, and and sometimes you are fortunate. Sometimes in life, you have to be fortunate, and. When I say I was fortunate, although I was scoring goals, there were a lot of there probably were a few, three or four players ahead of me at the time. Um, but fortunate for me, they they were all injured, and I got drafted into Graham Taylor's squad. Uh, and it was it was it was quite ironic because the first time I got drafted into the squad, I didn't play, but I was in the squad was um, when we played against the, the, the uh, against Turkey. Um, was my uh, my first call up, uh, and what you do, you just I think it gets rumoured uh, in the papers a lot that, you know, Les Ferdinand's playing well, scoring goals. He's got to be due an England call-up, but you never think it's going to come. And then all of a sudden you get this this letter to the to the ground, you get a call from the, the ground and they inform form the club that um, your, your player's going to be selected for England duty and so on and so forth. And um, again, another surreal moment in my life, you know I mean? This is a kid out of a council estate um, from West London playing non-league football and you get called up to, to, to play for England. So um, that was my, my first encounter. What did your dad say? Got to ask you. Yeah, my dad was uh, cool. He was, he, he, you know, one of the things my dad, my dad was a, as a, as a growing up as a kid, he, he was an amateur bodybuilder. So my dad loved, loved the uh, bodybuilding. Um, and everything he did, he did to, to, to the best that he could possibly do it. Yeah. And I always said that, when I became a professional footballer, the, the highest accolade you could possibly get is to play for your country. Yeah. So that's where I've got to aim for. Um, that's where I want to be. That's where I've got to, to, to try and take my career so I can play for England. And, um, and I managed to do that. Yeah. It was, England was probably disappointing for me because I, I felt because I was probably at QBR, um, didn't probably get the recognition I deserved as a yeah. player. Back yeah. then. So going into play for England, every time I played, I always felt, from the press and everybody else was, this was my one and only opportunity. If I didn't do well in this game, I wasn't going to be picked again. Mm. Um, and that kind of like followed my, my England career. You know, you know, Alan Shearer talks about, I saw him talking about um, the other day where he went sort of like 19 games without scoring for England and was still first choice. Yeah. And I would never, I would be never afforded that opportunity. Yeah.